All right. What if we want to develop a quantitative risk assessment? First step is to calculate the exposure. What is our exposure to loss? Number one, assign a value to each and every asset. So you're going to need a spreadsheet. You're going to need to start off with a listing of every asset along with its current value. Then determine the percent of loss for each realized threat. What that basically means is, assuming we have a particular asset, let's say the asset is our computer system, our basic file server, and the threat would be a fire. Well, generally speaking, if you burn your server to the ground, the loss is 100%. However, it's possible that you could identify an asset such that the loss would only cause a 50% loss. You need to determine how much a loss is going to affect a particular asset. Then that gives you the exposure factor, or the exposure factor is the percent of loss. So once you know the value of an asset and the exposure factor, you can calculate the loss for a single threat occurrence. That is equal to the single loss expectancy. Let's take a look at some math now. The single loss expectancy, that is going to be the amount you expect to lose if a threat is realized, is the same as the asset value times the exposure factor. Once again, let's try this. Think about it in terms of a file server. Let's assume that we have a file server, and we assume that a disk crash will remove half of the value of that file server. File server costs $50,000. If we have a hard disk crash and we lose 50% of our value, the exposure factor would be 50%, and the single loss expectancy is $50,000 times 50%. So our SLE, our single loss expectancy, in that case would be $25,000.